Hey everyone, I'm Sandy and um, welcome back to another episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy. Um, on this episode, I'm going to be making a um, very healthy zucchini parmesan um, stick. We'll call them a stick, fry, whatever you want to call them. But they're very healthy and they're very good and they're very, very simple. Um, what we're going to be using today is some um, zucchinis. I've got three of them here, nice sized zucchinis. This is some panko breadcrumbs, about a half a cup. I've got some Parmesan cheese, um, freshly grated. Um, this is about four eggs, just, um, you know, mixed up real good. And we're gonna use some um, garlic powder, of course, of course, I've gotta use garlic powder. And and for our dipping sauce, we're gonna have, this is some, um, this, is, this is horseradish sauce. And this is Dijon mustard. This is about um, two tablespoons and about a half a cup of mayonnaise. And we're gonna mix all these together um, here in a few minutes, so um, then we'll show you. And I'm gonna use some um, kosher salt and some pepper. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our zucchini chopped up. Okay, so I'm just cut them, I'm gonna cut them in half. And then I'm just going to Cut them down long ways there. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put these on this um, paper towel lined plate because they have a lot of water content. So we're going to put those right on there. Just throw them on there. And then we're gonna add some salt to them and we're gonna let the salt render some of that water out because we're gonna bake these on a high temperature. And well, I've got my oven right now set at 450 and it's preheating. And we're gonna add some salt to these just so it can render some of that, um, the water out while we're getting our um, dipping sauce together. Just a little bit of salt on there. It's going to draw all that water out. Well, not all of it, but some. And we're going to let those sit just for a few minutes. And then we're going to start. And this is what we're going to use to um, dip them in. To our mayonnaise, we're going to add our horseradish. And this is really good. At Christmas, this is what I use when I uh, fix my piece of beef that we dip our beef in. It makes a good dipping sauce, and you're just going to mix that around. And that's that simple. That's all you need is those three things. And this is good if you let it refrigerate um, about a half an hour before you use it so all the flavors can marry or come together, whatever you want to call it. You don't need to add any salt to it because the horseradish is salty enough. It says 50 Dijon mustard. And that's all you do. And then we're going to set this in the refrigerator and let it, um, all the flavors come together. And of course, I have to. Mm. That's some good stuff. Okay, I've let these sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm just going to blot them lot some of the water off of them because you want them to be dry and get all that off there and plus I get some of that excess salt, salt off of it and I'm not going to be adding any salt because I'm sure so it's soaked into them okay and then what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic powder I like everything to have a little bit of flavor to it. Just generously sprinkle it all over there. And then I'm going to add some fresh ground pepper. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to do is you are going to add your pinko breadcrumbs to your Parmesan cheese mixture. Mix that around. 
Oh, you can smell the garlic from the, from the zucchini. It smells really good. I'm gonna mix these around. This is so simple. Okay. And then what we're gonna do next is one at a time, we're gonna take these and we're gonna put them right in our little egg bath. Shake um, the excess off and then you're gonna coat it. If you wanna use your hands with this, that's fine. Coat it real good. Just set it right on top of your baking sheet. I lined mine with foil, um, so cleanup is much easier. And then you just continue to do this into your egg bath, and then into your panko breadcrumbs with your Parmesan cheese, and you do this until you have every one of them coated with all this good stuff. Okay, I've um, got them all dipped and battered. So, like I said, we've got the oven set at 450, and these are gonna go in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then we're gonna take them out, flip them over in about another 10 minutes. In the oven they go. Okay. I've um, had these on for 10 minutes at 450, and I'm gonna flip them over. Look, look how golden brown they're getting. Mm, yummy, yummy. I'm gonna flip them over. You can see they're not all, you don't see all that moisture there, which is a good thing. I'm just gonna flip them over, and I'm gonna pop them back in the oven for another 10 minutes, and then um, be time to eat. Okay, these have been baking. Whew. Oh. I baked them for about 10 minutes on each side at 450. Oh, voila. Look, look what a beauty. We're going to plate these up. Okay, I've got them all plated up as you can see, and I pulled my, um, my dipping sauce out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna give that a quick stir. It's time to eat one. Look at, look at the crunchies on there. Yum, yum. Just give it a little dip. Hope it's not too hot. Mmm. That's amazing. And that dip goes so well with lots of different things, especially meat. But these are very good, very tasty, very healthy. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.